Hey, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Abadia coming at you with another video. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rabbi Chakwadash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone. Taught me this truth through the Spirit. Sing an honors to the elect. And peace and blessings be to all the sense of men, women, and children. And do consist of the one third. Shalom, Shalom. <laughs> um, sex on the Sabbath day? Really? Sex on the Sabbath day, people. And this is what's been floating around, you know, the flavor of the week with Sakari. And they're just waxing worse and worse. And Elder Apostle Kabardi the video, it's like 20 minutes long, it was saying, you know, it's official. Sakari does endorse having sex on the Sabbath. And it's like, these things are just so, they're plain to understand. The Lord said to keep the Sabbath holy. The word holy, kodash, it means to, to, it's a separate day. It's not any other day. And you don't do what you want to do on the Sabbath. Right? Did not the Lord said that that's a day of rest? So, if you're, if you're, um, if you go outside and you pick up sticks, what happened? Remember, in the ancient time, what did the Lord do to that man? He took that man out the earth. <laughs> they had he had him stoned by um in front of the congregation of Moses. And see, this is what's so ironic. This is what's so hypocritical about the situation. You're talking about wearing your fringes at all time. What do you think the border blue on the fringes are for? To 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 remind you to keep the Sabbath. To keep the, I'm sorry, the law in its entirety, but to keep the Sabbath. So, it bewilders me that you're saying that wear your fringes with the border of blue. And you should wear it all the time. But then you say that at one breath, but then you go and tell people that they can break the Sabbath? They can break a law? Like, I'm confused. Somebody help me out. You know? Because... The man was picking up sticks, people, and the Lord had him stoned. All right. So think about this. Let's say, um, let's say I was to go out in the field and do the work of a husband. What is husbandry? Working out in the field. Let's say I'm plowing the field. Um, I, I'm planting seeds. I'm covering up the um the holes with the seeds in it. I'm putting water on it. The Lord's gonna do the rest. I'm planting seeds, right? So I'm actually doing laborious work. Right? It's labor. Well, it's supposed I'm supposed to be resting on that day. It's a Sabbath day, right? So what's the difference they have of doing that and having sex with your woman? Are not you plowing her field? Are not you spreading out your seed inside of her? Right? And then you would feed her and nurture her so that your seed can grow, grow, and you can have your lineage go on through the next generation. It's not that, I'm speaking as a man, speaking to the men. It's not that a laborious work, right? What it's saying, oh, forgive me, I think it's Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh, no, is it the seventh chapter? Or this, yeah, I think it's Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. If I'm not mistaken, don't, don't quote me on it, or it could be Sarah, where it says that. Um, King Solomon said he was compacted in the blood for nine months and he said with pleasure that came with sleep I mean what makes you sleepy well hell if you work a, if you work a hard job if you're doing rigorous work I mean and speaking to the men I mean you got to think about it when, when a man and a woman are, are, I call it dancing in the sheets. When a man and a woman are dancing in the sheets, you know, I mean, you got to think about it. The, the, uh, the, 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 this asshole all on my ass on the damn truck. The, 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 <laughs> okay, God, forgive me, Salakia. The vagina and the etymology. It means a sheath. Do you know what a sheath is? Well, if you ever watched a, um, a movie with samurais, the sheath is what a sword is put into and taken out. Right? So, even when you go into the etymology of the word vagina, it's, it's a sheath. And what do you put in a sheath? A sword. A sword is an instrument used in war. 
So when a man inserts his penis, his knife, his sword, katana, Ginsu sword, into a woman's vagina, which is the sheath, it's war. All right? It's passionate. You're going to war. And it's also a laborious nature. Your blood pressure starts to rise. All right? All the blood in the man's body goes to one area. All the blood in the woman's body goes to her, her, her area. Right? The blood is flowing. I'm just I'm speaking, I'm speaking to adults, y'all. Juice is flowing. All of that. You know? There's a lot of pushing, pulling, biting, kissing, whatever. I'm just saying in general. I mean, you know, whatever. And then at the climax... There's a burst of energy. I mean, I mean, a woman can climax numerous times, you know. But we, boom, you climax and then you fall asleep. You know, you get that cloud. You know what I'm talking about, brothers, right? That cloud is just like, okay, Whew. that's laborious work on a on a day you're supposed to be resting. You go to war. You dance in the sheets, man. These guys are falling off, man. They're they're waxing worse and worse, and. I understand this situation is like, man, we got to go over this again. But you have to be in defense of the gospel because there are people out there who could be new to this. And can really think, oh, I can have sex with my wife on the Sabbath? No, you can't. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. It's a day of resting. And you see, um, pardon me. And, and the thing is, these guys... They just want clout. They really want clout. They really, they really puff themselves up. You know, I ain't no hater. I don't care what they want and what they want to do. But I mean, come on, man. The elders are great millstone. These men been teaching this truth, man, for a very long time. These men are in defense of the gospel. And and when you say things like that, that you can um have sex or dance in the sheets. On the Sabbath, man, you're playing a very dangerous game because you're putting a lot of people's lives on the line by 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 telling them lies. You know what? You 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 always resist the Holy Spirit, man. I mean, you're resisting what the Lord said to do. It's like it's like you're telling the Lord, nah. You know what, Lord? I don't think you know what you're talking about. We can't have sex on the Sabbath. What? And then you're sitting there saying that. Can you lie? Is lie a sin? Like, no, lying is not a sin. Lying is not a sin. What? Wait a minute. Last time I checked in the Bible, it says, There are six things the Lord hates and seven are abominations. One said, The Lord said he hates a lying tongue. And last time I checked, the Lord said, If you love me, keep my commandments. He said, All those that hate me love death. How? What are the, say, what are the wages of sin? Death. So, fool. When you sit here and say that lying is um not a sin, the Lord said he hate liars. And those he hate, he said they love death. He said, those that hate me love death. Well, if you're telling people that they can break the law, then you're telling the people that they don't love the Lord because if you love him, keep his commandments. You're playing a very, man, playing Russian roulette with your spirit, boy. <laughs> and then you had Deacon Hassad. Deacon I think it's Hassad. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it was a video where Elder Apostle Rumlock was recording, and the dude had, I guess there was little vocab Malone or whatever, saying that they wanted to talk to Sakara or whatever, 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 Alizé. And, uh, he said, excuse me, um, you're going to tell him, right? Because if you don't, that's a sin, right? Line is a sin, right? And he said, yes. So now you got two people in Sakara. One said lying is a sin, lying isn't a sin, and lying is a sin. That's like, you guys are just causing confusion, man. You know, and um, I mean that's all I really want to say on the matter is I mean, prophecies. I do I do agree with them when they were saying you know prophecy. We over to my prophecy, y'all over talking about this. Look, get you. I mean, just talking reckless to the elders. It's like, dude, what's your decorum? Like you talking to these men like that, like you like, like bro, they're like decades your senior. Not only in the flesh but in the spirit. It's like. Isn't this the same guy that 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 went on a hiatus for two years to go and sell drugs, like in 2010, 2011? Now, Danielson know how to wax on and wax off better than the elders? Like, you're that same guy, right? Wow. Man. Koho loyan like how about Shema Shai, about Shema Kadash, that's not my lot. Because remember, the Lord said the deceived and the deceiver are his. 
I mean, wisdom comes from the Lord, from on high. But you know, wisdom tend to puff it up as well. Man, you can't receive nothing except to be given the Lord. So you need to be more humble, my friend. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, um, with that being said, pray y'all's edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. May indulge it. Come, Allah. Shalom.